Hi, thanks for checking this video out. I'm your Everyday Joe. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a quick review of three microwave popcorn poppers. So make sure you stay tuned and see which one pops the best. And at the end, I'll give you my pros and cons on each unit and whether or not I think they're worth it. So let's get into it. All right, so these are the three that uh, I'm gonna be uh, reviewing. The first one is the original Hot Pop Microwave Popcorn Popper. Second one is a silicone popcorn popper. And the third one is the Ecolution Micro Pop Microwave Popcorn Popper. Now that's a mouthful. All right, let's talk about the original Hot Pop Popcorn Maker first. Uh, it just this is the packaging it came in get the plastic out of here so it looks like it comes with nice colorful instructions and it says here basically oh it comes with a lid got a little top hat all right basically you have to unravel it or pop it out and it's the hot pop version it's got little handles here for convenience and a top for the popcorn. So pretty straightforward. Uh, I mean, it feels like a pretty durable uh, silicone. Uh, doesn't seem too thin or that it's gonna tear or anything. We'll see how it holds up. The next one is the silicone popcorn popper. Now this one here was interesting. And I, you know, just looking at the box, when I took it out of the box, uh, for the name, uh, I, I'm not good with Spanish, as most of you guys probably know. Uh, I couldn't try to read that if I wanted to. It looks like uh, it's probably uh, Portuguese. It says it's made in China. So made in China, written in Portuguese, sold in the US. Great, hey, there's an international market there. Uh, so let's uh, open that up. Let's, uh, this one here looks more like a, just a, uh, a bucket. And got that, take the plastic out. That in there, and it's kind of cool. It says popcorn. It's for popcorn. It's got a nice lid. It's pretty soft. Okay, it looks like the lid is not really circular. It looks a little oblong. But that's the second one. Uh, the instructions are on the box, and then, uh, and they're in Spanish, Portuguese, most likely Portuguese. And what I did uh, is I used my, my Google Translate app. It basically just scans it and translated the whole thing for me. It, it was a great tool if you guys get a chance to use it. Uh, you can actually take pictures of uh, the product, uh, the, uh, the fonts and stuff, and it'll, it'll translate it for you. The whole thing is actually pretty cool. Let's talk about the last one here. This one here is the Ecolution Micro Pop Microwave Popcorn Popper. Wow. They could have just named it something cool. And this one here, the, the, uh, the cool thing about this one here, it's got this, this cap here. Looks like, I don't know if you can see, it's got drainage holes for your butter. The only one of these that has that option. Also the only one of these that has a, a handle and made of glass, which I kind of like. Kind of like that it's pretty durable. Um, and uh, it's got a plastic covering on it. Uh, but I would assume that this one here probably gets the hottest. So you, we're going to test that out. We're going to check that out while we're popping. So we're going to put that on top, put that here. I'm going to clean these all up, make sure they're all sanitized and clean for usage. Uh, and now we'll get to the next part of the segment. All right, so now that they're all cleaned, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out the popcorn and just uh, to set a standard here, we're going to be using... Uh, the purple popcorn. I kind of like this. It's got a, a nice flavor to it. Cousin, Will Cousin Willie's simply better purple popcorn. So we're gonna we're gonna measure out about a quarter cup. I'm using a quarter cup on that. Now all of these, uh, except for this one here, uh, don't have any markings on how much to use. Uh, but I believe in the translation here, it said you can use up to a, a half cup of popping corn in there. Uh, this one here has got markings and the bottom. It's got two lines. 
uh, for the lowest and the max max lines. Just an FYI, this version here is a three quart uh, capacity. They do have a one and a half quart smaller, uh, but I chose the larger capacity because I hate making more than one batch. But for this case, we're going to measure everything the same. So, and of course, they're not going to be exact. I'm not counting every kernel, so you know, don't bother commenting on that. We're just going to get it as close as we can. Okay, that's one quarter cup here. Okay, one quarter cup there. And one quarter cup there. So we're going to start off evenly here. Okay, and I'm not adding any oil to any of them. I think I, when you're microwaving, if you're using oils and you're using butter, there's a tendency that depending on the strength of your microwave, you could burn it. So we're going to eliminate that right off the top. Obviously, with the steam that these produce, if you put any butter in there, it'll drip through. I mean, that's kind of self-explanatory on that one. So this top here, and they say not to press this down because it'll create a vacuum in there and uh, it'll tend to burn the, uh, uh, the kernels. So you want to slide that down just so it sits kind of lightly. This one here, it said to close the lid. So we're going to close the lid. I got a feeling that this one here is going to pop because as the steam builds up, it's going gonna, it's gonna to pop that top off of it. So that'll be interesting. And this here, we're just going to lay this on top. It's got holes for breathing. So now we're all ready to go. We're going to take these to the microwave and uh, we'll set up the, the timer and the micro, uh, microwave setting. I'll let you know what that is when we get there. Okay, so the first one we're going to use is the hot pop silicone microwave popper. So uh, what we're going to use is a microwave. What I'm using here is a 1200 watt high power Panasonic microwave. And this microwave is, is definitely one of those turbocharged ones. Uh, a lot happens real fast here. So we're going to open that up, put this in the center, close it. And the popcorn setting I'm using, this has three settings. I'm going to be using the 3.5, which is roughly about a minute and 45 seconds. So uh, we're going to get this going and we'll see what happens. One minute and 45 seconds. And I'll see you back when this is done. It's, it's popping pretty good. I mean, it's filling the, the bucket. You can see that. It's kind of pushing that top up, uh, which is a nice feature. And it started popping within a few seconds. So it's, uh, uh, it looks like it's, it's definitely doing its thing. It's working real fast. Uh, it may not even make the whole minute and 45 seconds. So, you know, we're going to be stopping that shortly. We're going to wait till two seconds. One, two, and I think that is... I think we're pretty much done. Okay, so I mean, killed it with 11 seconds left, so about a, a minute and 35 seconds on this one. Let's take a look and grab it by the convenient handles. I can still hear it sizzle. So let's take a look here. I'm going to take the top off. Look at that. It looks like it uh, burned a little bit here. Looks like it got very hot, so probably could have stopped it a little while uh, earlier, but it definitely popped really fast. So let's uh, let's move that, let that cool. Okay. The next one we're gonna take is this this Spanish Chinese popcorn bucket, the popcorn popper, with the the top on. Okay. So we're gonna stop, reset the microwave, put this in the center, like that. Close that up. Same setting, 3.5 on my setting, which is a minute and 45 seconds. And we're going to hit start. Okay, and we're going to let that go and see how long before it starts popping.
Well, I have to stop that now. Oh, if, if you saw that, that kind of blew its brains out and you know fell on its side. So I'm just going to pop it back up and keep it going here. Okay, I'm going to kill it here. As soon as it's done, I'm going to let it go with a 145 on it anyway. Okay. And, I mean, the outside is a bit warm. It's a bit, a bit hot, so you definitely want to be careful with that. It's definitely hot on the outside, and you can see the steam coming out. It is very hot, so you want to be very careful with this. But it looks like a... Okay, it popped pretty well. Yeah, popped pretty good. So I'm going to let this cool a little bit because it is very hot. Uh, and we're going to set up for the last one. The last one is the Micro Popcorn Popper, the original. They're all original. So again, open this up. Okay, there's no oils. I'm not using oils or butters. Put that in the center. Close the door. 3.5, start. So we're gonna let this go, see how long this takes, and I'll uh, come back and we'll see how well it did. This is actually pretty cool. You can actually see in this one, the popcorn actually bouncing all over the place in that, that, that's actually nice to watch. <laughs> you get a little entertainment here as you're popping. All right, so I uh, stopped that a little early because I, I counted two seconds uh, for it to stop popping the last one it could probably keep popping but it's probably going to burn a little bit so and you can see the steam in here yeah you, know, you want to take the top off so it, it doesn't continue to steam and i can i can hear there's some unpopped kernels in there but we'll check it out anyway so let's close that up stop that all right so now uh, we're going to take all three back to the counter and i'll get them into a bowl and we'll see uh see which one pop Pop more. Now that we've seen how long it takes to, to pop, generally they're all in the same ballpark. Uh, you know, give or take five or ten seconds, but in a 1200 watt microwave oven, you know, it's not going to take a whole lot, but a, a minute and 40 seconds on the average here. Uh, I think only one of them took the actual minute and 45, so give or take five, ten seconds at the most. So they're pretty comparable. So let, let's see how they did. Now, one thing I did notice with uh, this one here, the hot pop uh, silicone uh, original popcorn popper is uh, and it may have been partially my fault uh, keeping it in maybe a second or two too long get starting to get a little bit of discoloration in the center but again that may have been due to me not stopping it uh, when I first counted the two seconds I left that in there for a couple of seconds more but regardless uh, they popped popped really well so let's take a look see what we have left for unpopped kernels in this one. Wow, this is uh, impressive. You know, it looks like, uh, you know, we only have a couple. <laughs> and that's the extra couple of seconds probably ate up the rest. So it looks like there's only, uh, uh, there's only about three or four kernels in here uh, that didn't pop. Uh, so that's, that's pretty impressive. But again, you know, uh, be aware that a couple of seconds makes a huge difference uh, in popping in the microwave. So that, that, that's pretty good. So let's give it a little shake. Obviously, popcorn is good. Awesome. So let's, let's get it all in there. Now let's take number two. This popcorn popper, the silicone bucket. Popcorn popper. Okay, and if you notice in the video, uh, it actually, with the top sealed, once it built up the pressure, it actually tipped it over. So I had to stop it and continue it. I tried not to waste too much time in it, you know, a second or two 
just to tip it back up and keep it going. But it did continue and, and finished. It doesn't look like it burned at all. Okay. Okay. And let me see what we have in here. Looks like, uh, again, very few. It's uh, pretty impressive. Now it comes for this glass one. This is the uh, micro popcorn, uh, popcorn popper from uh, Ecolution. Uh, I think it's Ecolution is the name of the company. Yeah, that's what it says here on the tag. Ecolution, cook well, do good. So let's see how good you do. All right, so I'm gonna give it a quick toss to loosen everything up and see if I can get all the, because I can hear the kernels at the bottom. So let's, let's pour all these out. I mean, overall, not disappointing at all. Okay. And again, you want to take that top off after uh, it's done cooking because it will steam them. Uh, as you can see, uh, the glass is uh, kind, of, kind of wet and steamed. So you'll get soggy popcorn. And it looks like this one here has got a few in there also. All right. So probably the most was probably out of this. And again, we didn't exact measure it. Not an exact science. Uh, I didn't count every kernel, so no way to tell. But overall, they're pretty comparable, pretty even, uh, give or take, uh, you know, a few kernels here. Okay, so again, looks good. Extra popcorn. Thank God tonight is movie night. This really pays its dividends, huh? That's a lot of popcorn. So we're gonna be we're gonna be eating this popcorn later on. So well, let's take the first one with the hot pop, popcorn popper here, the silicone base. Now that one there comes in about 14 colors. Uh, I bought it for about 15 bucks, 14.99 on Amazon, uh, and uh, it's it's definitely uh, uh, definitely pretty good. I like it. Uh, I like the fact that it's kind of a bucket where you can uh, uh, you can pop it and then just bring it with you, go to the couch in front of the TV, and and you have it all here. Again, be very careful when it first comes out, the sides are going to be kind of hot. So I want to let it sit for a minute or so until it cools off uh, and add your, your butter, flavoring, salt and pepper, whatever, whatever you enjoy. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, even at the $15, it's pretty good. And I like the, the way it stacks. You can just close this and put the lid in and it goes into a counter. Uh, goes, goes into a nice, you know, a small cabinet or under the counter somewhere. You know, it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. I like that. Uh, I think it, uh, uh, it, it's easy to store, good price. So I can't really say too much about it. Uh, again, the burning part might have been partially my fault, but uh, uh, I think overall it turned out really well. The second one, the silicone popcorn popper uh, bucket here. Uh, again, I like it. Uh, I think I, I, I didn't think it was going to work well because uh, it had to be sealed. Kind of knew that it was probably going to pop uh, with the steam in there, which it did. Uh, so, it, being aware of that, I would probably run it not sealed, top on, but enough to let the steam out. Uh, doing that, I think it performed really well. Uh, I like the fact that it looks like a bucket. You know, again like the old school buckets at the movie theaters. You know, back when we used to go to the theater, uh, you can fill it up and go to town. You can also use it for other snacks. Uh, it holds really nicely. Um, and uh, whatever you don't eat, you can close it up, seal it, put it aside. So this one here retails uh, $12.99 and it only comes in the red, uh, which is okay with me. I kind of like popcorn in a red container, but it would have been nice to see it in uh, different colors like the hot pop uh, silicone version too. But again, red is not a bad thing. And for the last one here, Epoca or Epoca, Epoca. I don't know if I'm saying it right, I'm probably butchering the name. Uh, uh, Ecolution Micro Pop Microwave Popcorn Popper. Again, they could have done something with the name. Um, you know, uh, and I, I like the fact that this one here seems really well made. Uh, a lot of thought went into, you know, with the, the ring here, the handle, uh, so you're not burning yourself or grabbing any of the hot areas 
when they come out, that's one of the cons with the other two is uh, the sides do get hot and when you're grabbing it, you gotta, do, you gotta be careful with that. This one here has a nice handle and it's pretty comfortable. Also, I like the fact that you have the option of uh, adding butter right to it as it's popping. Now, uh, I've noticed that I've made a couple. I've noticed with the butter in there, with oils in there, it can tend to burn, so you do have to control the temperature a little bit or the timing a little bit more, but uh, uh, I like the fact that it has that option. Uh, Storage-wise, you know, this lid doesn't really seal. Uh, it does have holes in it, so it's, you know, it doesn't really seal for storing popcorn or anything else, but uh, overall, it's, uh, not too bad, well-made. Uh, this one here, uh, this size is a three quart. Uh, they do have a one and a half quart. Uh, unfortunately, the three quart is $19.99 uh, on Amazon. I bought it. It only comes in three colors. Uh, the uh, one and a half quart is two prices, which is weird. Uh, it's $12.99 or $18.37 if you want a small red one. Only the red is, is more expensive. I don't understand why. Maybe it's the demand, but I think keeping the prices even would uh, would have made things a little easier. Uh, it, that, there's nothing unique with the colors uh, outside of the color. So, uh, but it did the job. It worked really well. It is glass. Uh, storing, obviously this one here being the biggest of the bunch, uh, it'll, it'll take more space in your cabinet or uh, uh, under the counter. So that would be a little bit of a drawback, a, a con for me. Uh, but overall, they all worked as expected. Good price, good popcorn. I hope you enjoyed uh, a little bit of a, a change from the channel. Yeah, I'll leave links to these down at the bottom. Uh, there are Amazon affiliate links. If they help out the channel, we appreciate uh, the support. Check out some of the other videos here. I've got some other, some other popcorn video here that you can take a look at. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.